Hey guys, so quick note before I start the video, I'm wearing this because I don't want to do a face reveal yet, but quick note before I start the video, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading that much lately. Uh, I just had a lot of stuff going on with school and life in general. So yeah, I'm going to start uploading again soon. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and upload at least once a week. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but yeah. Also, I'll take this off. For my face reveal, which I'll probably do at 50 or 100 subs, I don't know yet. But, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Freezy Cold Cuber, and today I have an unboxing. That's it. So, I ordered one thing from Speedcube Shop, and it finally came in. So, um, let's open it. Done. So, inside this, we have one thing and one thing only, and it is the G clock. So, I've never done clock before. I, mean, I know how to solve one, but I've never actually had a good one, and I've never competed with it. I don't know the good method, if there is a good method. I just know how to do it. I can get them all to go up like they're supposed to, and that's about it. I'm not very good at this. But anyway, let's open it up. Alright, so... I like unboxing things like this. Wow. This is pretty. Um, so... Oops, oops. So, before we get to the clock, we have an instruction manual. Because, duh. Um, anything interesting on here? Yep, pretty much just generic pamphlet. Um, they're all the same anyway. And we have some cards of this guy who I don't recognize. Sorry, I don't understand whatever language this is. Looks like Chinese, but I, I don't know who this is. Sorry. Uh, it looks like he's assembling something. We have a pretty good picture of the clock and what looks like an orange. Yeah, and a Chi logo. Another good picture of the clock on a laptop. It looks like a Mac. And a very up close and personal picture of the clock. So, now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the clock itself. So. You can see that it's just a generic clock, and it comes with this nice little stand, which is cool. It's a stand. It's, it does what stands do. You you know what stands do. Anyway, let's look at the clock itself. Looks really nice. Um, looks like it's going to get a lot of fingerprints on it, because it is, like, smooth plastic. Wow, I really like the other side. Um, let's test out the pins. Those move really easily, like... Yeah, I could probably, like... Yeah, I can. So, yeah. Um, fast moving. There are They are magnetic. So, yeah. They'll just click into place. And now let's test out the important part, the dials. It's a bit hard to turn with all of them up, so let's try just one. That's really good. How about two? Also, really good. This is a really good one. It has some logos down here. Mofang, G, Aoshi. And then I think that's the Chi logo. Yeah, it is. All right. So, uh, I guess time for the review segment. I'm going to go do some solves, and then I'll tell you a bit about it. All right. I am back. So, I've done a couple solves on this, and I really like it. Um, dials are really good. Doesn't really look like it, but that's just because all the pins. Like, if I just do that, look. 
and uh, I didn't notice uh, for a while, but there are actually magnets on every single spot on the clock. So if I can turn it, then you can see. They kind of snap into place. And the pins still feel really nice. They are a bit loud, but, you know, it's a clock. It's not... Excuse me. It's not meant to be a quiet event. But, yeah. So, I'm going to do a quick solve on camera. I am horrible at clock, but I just wanted to get one on camera so you can see how good it is. Uh, let's... So you can see how bad I am at clock here. Um, but yeah, there's my crosses. And that's it. Yeah. So, if you've never done clock before, it's pretty easy. Um, but it's hard to get good at. So, yeah. Uh, I actually don't have an original Rubik's clock, sadly. Or like any of the other ones. So I have nothing to compare this to. But it is the best clock I've used. So, yeah. It's pretty good. I definitely recommend it. So, I'm going to get into a detailed review now. So, let's start that now. Alright. So, the Chi Yi clock is $30 on speedgoopshop.com. Link in the description. Uh, I might have a cubicle link as well. I don't know. I don't really order from the cubicle. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So, it's just a normal Rubik's clock that functions exactly like the rest of them. And I looked it up, 204 magnets. Because there's a magnet at each part of the clock spinning. Like, you know, there's a mark right there, mark right there, mark right there, etc. And so, there's a magnet everywhere. And that helps them click into place better. And yeah, that's pretty helpful. Also... Uh, the dials are very grippy. I don't know if that's important, but it, it, they're grippy. Eh. Eh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was holding this clock. I'm not good at clock. Um, uh, but yeah, it looks amazing. I like how they have the two red lines to show the top. Um, it probably looks like it would be hard to see on camera. Oops. Okay. Probably looks like it would be hard to see them while you're doing this all on camera, but they're much easier to see in real life. And if you zoom in, you can see there's a bit of a texture to it. That's not just my fingerprints. Listen. You, know, my, you might not be able to hear that, but it has like the scratchy plastic noise that those reflecting thingies sound like. And also, if you zoom in really close, you can see there's a texture on the clocks themselves. On the clock frame under the plastic. There's, like, little lines on them. It's kind of hard to see. But, yeah. So you can also use these screws around the clock, I'm pretty sure, to tighten or loosen the clock and make it completely customized. So it's like normal cube. Um, yeah. So the verdict, if you are just getting into clock or if you're a really good at clock, then I would definitely recommend getting this. Because it's by far the best clock I've ever used, even though I've only used, like, two of them. Um, but, yeah. Um, not much else to say about it. It's just a really good clock in the stand. Good job. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope this review was helpful, and I hope you were entertained by the unboxing. If you watched this far, then you probably were. But, anyway, I'm going to see you all. Uh, next time I make a video, I, I don't know. Sorry it's been so long since I uploaded for anyone that actually likes my channel. Uh, thank you for the support, by the way. Um, but anyway, again, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm going to go play Minecraft now. Bye.